welcome arithmetic means adding numbers crypt arithmetic means using these 10 different digits replacing the english alphabet finding the answer for this three digit number added with another four digit number getting the five digit number this is known as crypt arithmetic addition problem so crypt arithmetic means using these 10 different digits replacing the english alphabet we have to follow some rules the rule number one we should not use two different numbers for the same letter rule number two we should not use same number for two different letters then rule number three the very very important rule is maximum carry over one what is the maximum carry over maximum carry over means supposing we are adding these two number at maximum we will get only 19 here we will get only 18 sometimes here we will get 19 only so this box you will get only maximum 19 that number 9 you will write here remain carry over you will write that is maximum carry over so this top row is carry over so there is no possible of this not no possible of getting carry over 2 and above so only one possible that is carry over is 1 that means here you will get only maximum 19 so getting 20 and above in this box is not at all possible so problems like this u plus your equals hot cell plus more equals money 0 plus point equals energy e plus that equals apple here plus she equals comes we will start the problem writing number 1 in this box why we need to write in this box number 1 immediately starting this problem is for example if you are adding this greatest 3 digit number with another greatest 4 digit number like 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 this is one example we will be getting answer 1 0 9 9 8 so this box will get 1 if you are adding the smallest 3 digit number with the smallest 4 digit number we will be getting like 1 1 0 0 that means here we will get 0 so either 0 or 1 we will get in this box so if you are writing 0 this heart will become 4 digit number we need to get only 5 digit number so only 1 so there is no possible to get 1 other than 1 in this box so number 1 we are writing how we are writing number 1 that 1 you are writing from the previous column that means if this box has a 2 digit number you will write one single digit the remaining number for example 14 you are getting this one example 14 or 15 other than 11 because already we are saying 1 for alphabet H if you are getting number 10 the 0 will write the remaining carry over that is goes there that 1 you are writing so if you are writing 1 here this particular problem like this this problem the K from we are getting the carry over so this one you are getting from this box now see this column so before this one more time see the rule we should not use two different number for the same letter we should not use same number for the two different letter the maximum carry over is one when you are doing this type of problem you have to finish your carry over work first that means you have to see every column now you can see this column not only in this problem, every problem starting with carry over is not possible. So you can put dash. That means there is no previous column. So this column, there is no previous column. So there is no chance of getting carry over. So you can put dash. But we have to check whether from this box to that box here carry over is there or not. From this box to this box carry over will come or not. But now you can see from this box to this box carry over we are getting one. So we are writing number one here. Now we can see this column, this particular column, whatever number you are assigning for alphabet Y, the same will reflect on this alphabet E. To avoid that, we have to write carry over. Moreover, this box you must get only two digit number. Then only you can get carry over. The carry over goes there. So here, what are the two digit number other than 11, 10, 12, 13, 14? So, other than 11, 12 we are getting is not possible because maximum for y we can assign number 9. The same number 9 will reflect to avoid it by writing the carry over 1. This carry over how we are getting is from the previous column. That means this box will be a 2 digit number. So y we can assign maximum only 9. If you are writing 8 with carry over or without carry over you will not get a 2 digit number. So y we can assign only number 9. So number 9 we have assigned for alphabet Y. Now we can check 9 plus 1, 10 you are getting a 2 digit number. So 0. 
this uh, carrier one goes there. Now see, this is zero. This is alphabet O. See the difference between zero and O. Now we have uh, assign alphabet H number one, alphabet E number zero, alphabet Y number nine. So we can shy for all this number. Remaining, as I told you, you have to keep the constant, keep concentrating only on carry over one. Before that, what we can do is wherever alphabet Y, we can write number nine. Here we write number nine. Now here one trick we are going to use. The trick is whatever num number added with nine digit carry over, these two will be same. See here, whatever number added with nine with carry over, what number will add adding that number will reflect. For example, we are writing number eight. You have to get two digit number. We are writing number eight. Eight plus nine seventeen with carry over. So seventeen plus one eighteen will get that number eight will write. So O and E will get the same digit. That is E will get to avoid that. So this column there is no carry over. So this column will not start with carry over. That means previous column has a single digit number. Now we can write whatever value we can uh, assign for O this side. Now uh, this column we don't know whether it is a carry over or not. We have to check it. After that, what we can do is uh, alphabet U is there. Then uh, Now we can see here. So this box only is a two-digit number. We don't know whether this box is a two-digit or single digit. If it is two-digit, carry over one will come. If it is a single digit, there is no carry over. Now what we are going to do is like a trial and error method. If you do fast trial and error method, we can get the answer. This O and U will get the different different possibilities like two plus three. Two plus three five. This is like with the carry without carry over. Two plus three five plus one six. It is like with carry over. So we have to keep doing this trial and error method. So two plus three. That means what we are checking is alphabet O and alphabet U. What we are writing number number writing the two number adding with carry over or without carry over. You have to get only single digit number. Here single digit number you have to get. Why we have to get single digit number means the next column there is no. Carry over. Here there is no carry over. There, there is no carry over means. So like a small trick, simple trick. Whatever number added with nine with carry over, this number and this number will be the same to avoid that. You are not writing the carry over the dash. If you are putting dash in the previous column, it's a single digit number. Now this like trial and error method. Now write here two and three without carry over. Two and three without carry over. So two plus three will get five here. The same five will write there. We can write number five here. Then what we can do is three here. We can write three plus five eight will write here. Then uh, the same uh, two. If you are writing here nine plus two eleven will get. But already we are saying number one for H. So two and three without carry over is not possible. Now we we'll check for two and three with carry over. Two three five plus one. We are writing number six for alphabet R. The same six you will write here. Then uh, we are saying alphabet uh, U three, so six plus three nine will get. We are already saying number nine for alphabet Y. So two and three with carry over or without carry over is not possible. Now this we can go another uh, trial and error method. So we have finished two and three. I think two and three with carry over or without carry over is not satisfying the rule. So we can take like uh, instead of taking three and four. You can go for two and four. See two and four. I am writing without carry over. So two and four will be get six without carry over. The same six will write here. So four we all write there. So what we'll do is four and six ten will get, but zero is not get. Already we are saying zero for alphabet E. That means with the carry over we'll check. So four plus two six plus one seven. Then same seven. Again, seven plus four, eleven. You should get. That is, you should not get eleven. Already you are saying number one for alphabet H. Now we'll check for writing four here and two there. See here, four here, two there. So four and two will get six. Four and two will get six. The same six will write here. Six and two will write here eight. The same. Uh, Two is not two. Like four, the same four right here. Four and nine, thirteen will get three. 
I think almost uh, this is uh, will be the correct answer. We'll check now. See, for this, what we have to do is when you're doing a trial and error method, that is when writing two and three here with the carryover and without carryover, so everybody is not satisfying. We can uh, check for this writing three and two here with the carryover and without carryover. Rules will not the satisfy the will not satisfy the rules. So, what will be the correct answer? Correct possibility is writing four. For alphabet O with carry over, it's not with carry over actually, without carry over, then 2, 4 and 2, we get 6, the same 6 you write here, then the 2 you write here, 6 and 2 will get 8, 6 and 2 will get 8, then the alphabet O already assigned 4, so 9 plus 4, 13, 3 you write there. That means 6 and 2 are getting a single digit number. So there is no carry over. Supposing you are writing carry over 4, 2, 6 plus 1 will get 7. Then the same 7 will write 7 plus 2, 9. But we already assigned number 9 for alphabet Y. So the answer for this will be 9, 42 added with 9, 4, 2, 6. The answer is 1, 0, 3, 6, 8. So this problem, trial and error method only help you. Like uh, how you are uh, this uh, ch checking 2, 3, 3, 2 with carry over, without carry over, and 2, 4 we are not getting. That means the rule is not satisfying. So we are writing 4 and 2. This will be the correct answer. Thank you for watching.